What's going on guys, it is the NOLA Hub back with another video and the New Orleans Saints announced today they are signing defensive end slash defensive tackle Tano Passigno. Yes, it is a very hard name to say, but I will say it again. Tano Passigno. I might be saying it wrong, but that's from what I got from the Google like pronunciation was Tano Passigno. And yeah, this isn't going to be a player that like we're like jumping for joy over but I really like this signing I think it was only about two years five something million dollars I don't have the exact number right here just because I have his stats pulled up instead mainly plays defensive ta playing to play defensive tackle though listed at a D defensive end was a former second round pick for the Kansas City Chiefs did not play a whole lot uh, but his best year was in 2019 even though he only started eight games, had four sacks, 29 combined tackles, 21 solo tackles, six tackles for loss, 11 QB hits, and I, like I said, all that in eight games started. And that's not amazing. That's not something that will jump out and be, you know, like eye gouging. But he did okay. He's he's serviceable. And remember, he only started eight games. But he took a big step back this year. Uh, starting 15 games, only having one sack, 28 combined tackles, and 20 solo tackles with two tackles for loss and only four QB hits. Now, here's why I like deciding. We are lacking at the defensive tackle position. While I believe in Shy Tuttle to maybe play that defensive tackle two role, it definitely doesn't hurt to bring someone else in, and this kid has loads of potential. When I tell you how tall he is, I think you might be shocked. But he is six foot seven, two eighty nine. He's basically a small forward, but like height wise. But and he was a second round pick for a reason. It just hasn't panned out yet so far. No, I'm not saying he's gonna come here and Sean Payne's gonna revive his career. He's gonna become a Pro Bowler. But I am saying that he could come here, play the defensive tackle two role next to David Onyemata. And have a really nice solid season maybe get five six sacks and some tackles for loss and really plays a pivotal role however though i think it's more likely that he'll be more of a rotational piece on the defensive end and the defensive tackle side maybe fights for the starting job but i think with shy having the experience and marcus davenport and cam jordan being on the ends it doesn't make sense for him to start right away but like i said he will play a very solid piece for this team coming in making some plays and it's a very good signing for a very cheap deal. He's only being paid like two point something million a year, I believe. And the max he makes from his contract is five, five mil plus, like 5.5 .5 million. I don't have the exact details pulled up because like I said earlier, I should. But yeah, last season he definitely took a step back. His PFF grade was uh, 55, which isn't good. But that 2019 year where the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, he only started eight games, it was really a decent season. And that's really what we need. I feel like we have a good... We have David Onyemata. We have Cam Jordan. Decent players can elevate that D-line because there's already two. There's one above average D-tackle and an elite end. And Davenport is kind of in the boat of unknown because he could just never stay healthy, which also brings the case for Tano. Will he play DE when Davenport, if Davenport goes down again? Maybe Cam Jordan goes down. Anyway, I really like the signing. I think there's loads of potential here. Um, it's really boomer... It's not even a boomer bust. It's like he fails, he fails. We paid like two million, and if he booms, he booms. Like I love the signing. I I'm very happy to welcome Tano Passanoa to the New Orleans Saints family. And uh, yeah, he also has lots of playoff experience. He's 11 games played in the playoffs because I mean he's on the Chiefs and he was drafted in 2017. So they've been pretty good since then. <laughs> But yeah, boys, uh, I love Tano Passigno. I, I really like the signing. And uh, welcome to the Saints family. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like, sub, do all that crap. Helps me out as a very small channel. Until next time, peace.